Hi everyone, thank you for checking out my video about the Mulletal Trail. This time I will be doing Route 3. My name is Michel, I'm a real estate agent and realtor here in Luxembourg. And if I'm not selling real estate with my team, this is what I love to do. So today we will do Route 3 of the Mulletal Trail. I hope to do it in five hours. And we just left Hering am Millen which is where you can also find the Schiessentümpel, which is Luxembourg's most famous uh, waterfall. And I will be running it this time counterclockwise. So we are now heading upwards, north towards Beaufort. And <coughs> we have about 27 to 31 degrees Celsius today. So it's quite warm. We just passed kilometer two and I'll check in with you a little bit later. So join me on this run, it's gonna be so much fun. We are now just over four kilometers in and this little vegetation tunnel will bring us to the valley which leads up to the Beaufort castle. Now for those of you that don't want to do the 38, the cool thing to do is to just leave from Heringer Millen, walk up towards Beaufort or do it in the opposite direction and just take a bus back. Public transportation is free in Luxembourg, so it's not gonna cost you anything. And it is a really nice walk, especially in the morning when the sun is about to come up, when it's cool and quiet, and there's still some deer lingering around, trying to get a nibble of grass. That's quite low. So I know that now I will start to put in some more effort. So far, this first four kilometers have been quite easy. Not too difficult, nothing technical at all. But I know what's coming. It's beautiful, but it's also very serious work. Let's get into it. The best time to come and do the Mulletal Trail is like this period of the year, so anywhere between June until August. After that, there's more rainfall in Luxembourg, and that means that the trail is also rather wet, muddy, and sometimes there are also floodings. So it's not always safe to go on this trail either. <clears throat> so the best time is when it's warm, dry, hasn't rained in a while, that's when you can enjoy the Mulletal at its best. But for those who want to have a bit more adventure, I would suggest to do it in winter when it's freezing out. Did it once, very hard, but absolutely worth <coughs> the try. <coughs> so right now I'm still following this creek upwards towards Beaufort, Beaufort. 
and six kilometers in. It's quite a lot of people on the trail, but not too busy, which is great. I'm loving it. All right, let's get this going. had an issue there with my water bladder which basically lost its connection to the hose this one and started pouring down on my backside so I had to stop <coughs> and fix that issue immediately which means I lost a lot of water and that means that later on I will have some trouble and perhaps I need to ask someone to give me some water I don't think there's any water sources here for fresh water so I have to ask someone but look at this I'm in the clearing let me switch this around so you can see what I see that right there is the Beaufort castle Beaufort in Luxembourgish and it's always a welcome sight when you get out of that little valley over there. Once you pass these wooden raptors, you can also do the extra tour, which goes up to the right. There's also a camping up there. That tour is about 13 kilometers. I also ran it and put a video up on YouTube. I will link it on the screen. So for those of you that want to make it even longer, this is the way to do it. Now I have to find my way towards <coughs> Haller, I think it is which is a white house at the end of this valley which then sends me over towards the west and up to, no sorry, down to La Rochette So we are now reaching, I think it's Haller House parents is right over there. <coughs> From this house, we will go westward, so to the left, uh, to do the big loop of Route 3. And if you would go to the right, you can go and do the extra tour, which goes towards Dillingen, if I'm not mistaken. And just climb out of the valley, which means that now I will most probably do a lot of fields sun is still quite high so it's gonna be warm for sure <coughs> it's actually the section that I don't like as much but, but we got to do it anyway kilometers in one and a half hours and so far this section has been mostly just paths which go through fields and forests alternated and it's quite comfortable to run there's not a lot of people most of it is just sort of flat so now it's time for me to have a little snack to rice cookies so that I don't crash later on so I'll see you soon
So we left Grevenhof behind us. We are on top of the world right now. It's a beautiful view. I don't think you can see that well on the video. And this is where often people go wrong. So when you find this road, you take a right, you follow the road and you go left. Okay, simple as that. It's just that this path is hidden amongst the fields. You don't see it in the distance. You'll be running over grass and you're not sure about it. Especially if you're planning to run the ultra marathon here in Muletal. It's all at night, this section, so you won't know exactly where you will be going. So it's good to know <coughs> beforehand rather than running a couple of kilometers in the wrong direction trying to get back. And now you just added extra kilometers to already a very long and difficult trail, and that in the middle of the night. Once you've passed uh, this farm, you will continue on a bit of a asphalt road. But after that, you will find this type of road, this type of path, which has this stones hidden inside them, quite uncomfortable to run on. Plus, if you would do this at night, you're kind of exposed on top of a hill. It can be quite windy. <clears throat> so especially if you're doing this in winter, I would recommend bringing a a windbreaker just to do this section it's not that long but the wind can be very haunting here right after that there's a steep downhill which is really awesome for your knees after all the kilometers that you just made and it's really tough on my quads right now I'm going fast, but it kind of also hurts. almost 19 kilometers in which means that we are halfway through but of course the Mulletal trail wants to know if you want to continue and throws in a climb like that just to see what you're made of Whew. well I made it Mulletal <clears throat> 2 hours and 20 minutes not bad but I gotta keep up the pace
village of La Rochette, Fjelds in Luxembourgish. Behind me is the castle with the ruins that are left of it. And right now I have a nice climb upwards. So, having left La Rochette behind me, I'm making my way now towards Blumenthal, which is seven and a half kilometers from here, give or take. Most of these will be flats, ups and downs, but nothing too extreme, like we just saw. And it's still quite warm out. It's 4.30, the sun is not letting up, so, I'm losing a lot of water, meaning a lot of salt, so soon I have to take a salt pill because I can feel certain parts of me cramping up sometimes, which is not great. And right now we are 20 and a half kilometers in. It's going great. These staircases are awesome. Let me explain to you why. They have been cut out of the sandstone here and some of them are literally hundreds of years old. So the trail that you're walking here has been walked by generations and generations of people that live here. Really cool. My legs are just falling asleep right now. This has all been just pretty easy trails. Nothing too technical, nothing to see either. Just left the uh, soup behind me, which is a little place where there's usually an aid station during the ultra marathon here. And of course I know what comes next, which is a climb, you! So while your legs are being <clears throat> put to sleep by the previous four kilometers or so they now get a little shock because we have to go up With that climb behind me. <clears throat> next up is mostly fields for the next five to six kilometers or so before we drop down towards Blumenthal. is 27 kilometers in and I'm finally in some forests. It was a bit too much of those fields out there last couple of kilometers. Too warm, not very pleasant, quite boring as well. So this forest is really a welcome relief at this moment.
So that was the lovely village of Brumenthal and this is where you might get a false sense of being close to the finish because this road goes straight to Heringa Millen, so Millenthal and it's not that far by car but there's still 10 kilometers to do on this trail so when you see this village don't give up yet you still have 10k to do all right keep it up So the issue that I had earlier with my water bladder losing water, well, this is not a result. This is all I have left. I have about 45 minutes to go. So I will take a sip of this every 15 minutes. As you can see, I'm full of salt. It's really warm today. And this is actually kind of dangerous at this point. So luckily I have 1.5 liters waiting for me in the car. But for now, this will do until the end. Right now I'm in the downhill section which leads me towards the touristic area, let's call it. My watch is telling me that I am exactly 33 kilometers in. <clears throat> so this is a good point for me to ask you if you like my video. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. And of course I would really love for you to join my channel and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button in order to get a little ping, a little notification every time I upload new content. Whew. Luckily the sun is starting to go down a bit and still warm, don't get me wrong, but it's a bit cooler in the forest, which is exactly what I need. All right, I have what is it like four more to go yeah four more kilometers to go heart rate is good for the moment but i really need to pay attention because i have no water like i mentioned earlier so i really need to pay close attention to how much i'm putting out and do not cramp up at all see like this i cannot breathe really well i feel like my lungs are stuck so I gotta focus on the road, guys. All right, I'll see you soon. So down there is where all the tourists are. That's the Schiessentümpel. 
everybody's taking pictures with the waterfall right now and I still have this giant climb to conquer before I can call it a day Whew. and incredibly enough I made it I have 37.16 kilometers on my watch That's beautiful So I did this 37 kilometers in 5 hours and 6 minutes and I wanted to do it in 5 hours but I will take it especially considering that it was really warm plus I ran out of the water so all in all a good run I hope you enjoyed it the next one will be another Mulatal trail but if you guys have any suggestions, of course, you can always leave a comment on the video below. In any case, that's it for me. My name is Michel. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one.